My name is Karin Wild Thompson. I come from the organization called uh, Børnefonden. That's a Danish word. Uh, we're from Denmark. It translates into a uh, children's fund. So we're part of the Child Fund Alliance, affiliated with uh, Child Fund International, uh, which is the American uh, sister organization, and various other organizations. So we work with children and youth. Uh, our sort of overall ambition is to, to uh, assist them to develop to their full potential. And uh, our approach is um, holistic, you could say. We have, uh, we have four different intervention areas. Uh, education, health, uh, children and development, so children's rights, children's protection, and then uh, income generation. And so if I should sort of zoom in income generation, that's why I'm here. That's uh, also the field where I'm the advisor to Bonifanten. Income generation uh, to our work is, um, is agriculture primarily, we're in rural areas. It's uh, basically it's uh, micro-enterprise development, uh, access to uh, microfinance credits. Uh, so one niche uh, you can say of our work, we work, uh, we work um, with families and youth. Uh, we try to focus on women and youth. One of the things that we could do better, probably most of us, be it NGOs uh, or, or public uh, institutions, is uh, to seek to engage the youth, to, um, to make sure that they participate, not, not only as sort of the final beneficiaries of whatever intervention, but include them into the design phase and, and well, basically implementation, of course, but also into uh, evaluations. I think this is something that can really move things. Um, we did, as an example, in, in Mali, where we're starting up a, a project for, on youth, uh, youth employment, youth life skills. And what we've been doing there in the baseline is to actually uh, include the, the young people, um, both in the uh, carrying out of the baseline, but also in the presentation of the results afterwards. Uh, so they've been, uh, which is, you could say, in a Malian context, not very common. They've been actually uh, there also with the mic in front of the whole uh, community of uh, authorities. And yes, their communities, the elders, etc., to, to speak up and to tell about what, what's, uh, what's this project about? What are we going to do? What were the findings? Uh, what are some of the issues that the, our young peers are dealing with? The conference organized by Making Sense International, to me, it's, uh, I, think I see it as a, a great opportunity um, for really um, gaining inspiration to our future work on youth. Not only youth economic uh, opportunities, but this whole paletto also of, of youth empowerment, youth life skills. Uh, so I get very inspired. Uh, I, I get to, um, to exchange ideas, uh, gain contacts. I think, as I see it, one of our biggest um, <coughs> challenges, that's certainly um, to make sure that the economic growth, which is also now uh, taking place, you, we see it in, in the African countries, to make sure that this is a growth that goes all the way to, uh, you could say, ordinary people, people in the rural areas, uh, rural communities, um, uh, GDP and, uh, and, and very fine numbers that are showing growth, sometimes masks that it's, uh, it's a growth that is not uh, equally benefiting everyone. So I think that's, that's definitely a challenge. So we run uh, programs for income generation in all of our uh, program countries. Uh, we target uh, youth uh, and also families. So basically both men and women as family caretakers. Uh, and then the children that grow up and, and turn into young people who also need to, to establish their own livelihoods. Um, our programs normally uh, have uh, several components so we have the access to funding which is is very important uh, particularly since we're dealing with uh, rural communities where few and particularly among women and youth few will have the resources necessary to invest into a given uh, business opportunity so uh, access to funding training of course uh, short-term technical training in a specific topic another important aspect is the entrepreneurial uh, business training that's sort of our term for 
uh, training covering a vast uh, paletto of, uh, of topic. It's, it's, it's from bookkeeping to day-to-day -day management, um, how to do a market analysis, how to uh, do your business plan to present it to the microfinance institutions. So these are some of the components. Um, of our programs. First of all, um, showing them that possibilities are there and sometimes it's also uh, about the terminology, maybe calling it uh, agribusiness instead of just agriculture. It sounds very old-fashioned, uh, traditional, even to the parents as well who who would like to see their uh, children grow up and become doctors or like white-collar jobs. Um, so I think showing them that opportunities are there, uh, this uh, aspect of, of mentoring uh, that you have something someone to, to look up to someone who can follow you in in the development of your your business and your idea